and the rest. So uh, there was an expert meeting uh, that took place in, in Douala, Cameroon, bringing ECOWAS and Is it still members. ongoing? Is it, it, is, it is ended. So that they laid the groundwork for uh, a council of ministers to hold in Malabo on, on Monday, that is Monday the 7th, where they were laying the ground, groundwork for, uh, for how to you know, eradicate this uh, Boko Haram, the terrorist organization. Is that, is that an indication? I'm looking at the involvement of the ECOWAS block. Is it an indication that they too are concerned about it is a, the Boko Haram? It is. In fact, they are concerns. very much concerned because it, it cuts across terrorism. And when we're talking about terrorism, it, it, it involves uh, maybe a greater part of the sub-region, you know, both, both, both sub-region. But the most important thing is jurisprudence. How do we pursue, in fact, the legal framework of this organization should allow for, you know, uh, the suspect or presumed uh, terrorists to be pursued across borders and the extradition procedures should permit that they be judged there where they are not. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's how they're trying to harmonize it. Okay. It is a great concern for, for all countries. How do we weed out the demons without killing the devils? I think that is just what they're trying to I do. I don't get what you mean. If you break it down. Now, our view now, now the, the, the demons are there, the, the Boko Haram. Now, how do we, how do we help them without, we, 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 no, how do we help them with them out, at the same time protecting the angels. All right. Okay. Without causing collateral damage. damage. Okay. So now, what possible. do we expect from the from now the what, cast meeting well, at, at the end of the day? Are they going to finally cough up the fifty billion francs that was they promised? Will, they will cough it out, but it's not it's not an easy thing. They will cough it out. Um, I talked to uh, quite a lot of them, uh, expect the, the, the leaders from both uh, sub region, and they said the money is going to be available. Thanks for coming. You leave us now so I can get the last words from our guest, Malim, who will start with you. Uh, just your concluding remarks. Well, on the... Uh, concluding remarks on everything we talked about. It depends on you. Okay. Um, I think, so far, Nigeria, back to Nigeria, because, uh, as I said, we were all afraid that uh, the elections were going to end up as usual. But this, time around, but this time around... We have to congratulate the Nigerian population, Nigerians themselves. It tells you that this is a civil society that is mature, okay. very ripe to embrace universal values, particularly on democracy. Expect because, another call? Yeah. You can, you can expect another call from us very, very soon. We need okay. to exhaust the Nigerian lessons. Ellie Smith. Thanks for having been here. It was a pleasure, and as usual, whenever I'm called, I will come. Okay. So uh, what impression do you take home after our, our discussions? The impression I take home is that uh, Cameroon is a free country in terms of press freedom. We are free to say whatever thing we wish, but I also think that the intellectuals and leaders of this country should be honest and patriotic. Prince of Welcome, thanks for coming. Thank you very much. Happy uh, Easter. Happy Easter, and I think uh, to congratulate uh, the population of Nigeria, you know we don't have hungry people in Nigeria. It's a population that when they stand <laughs> up for something, they die for, they it. die for it. They die for it. But we, we are not really in Cameroon to die for a cause. Happy Easter once again. Come out and celebrate tomorrow. Ask God for love, peace, and joy in your households. Catch you again next week, and until then, bye-bye.